left, and it's it's pretty deep with water out there. One ball, no strikes. Delivery on the way. Cave a swing at a line drive towards left center. Yastrzemski on the run, a dive, and he makes the grab as he falls down onto that damp turf. But a wonderful grab by Yastrzemski. We were told maybe about three innings for Moya tonight. Swing at a hard smash to first. Quickly lunging to his left, grabbing it as Vargas. A dive to the bag in time for the out on Brugman on a close play. So they figured they'd come out. Yeah, but there are a lot of them swarming. Pitch home, there's a swing of a little flare, drifting back, jumping. Vargas has it go off his glove. Marine scores, Nunez trying to score. Throw home, a hit first dive, and he's tagged out by Astadio at the plate. In the fifth. And yeah, the right-hander's first pitch. Two Mullins of Bunt laid down off to the left side of the mound. Curtis comes in from third, tries to make a bare hand play, and it slips out of his hand. So Mullins will be on safely with a Bunt single. And for Cedric Mullins, a memorable. Checks on the runners and fires the 0-1 pitch to Dosh and a high fly ball. Deep right field, Bus looking up and that one is gone. Wow, what a shot by Drew Dosh. A three run home run here at the bottom of the fifth inning and the Tides take a four to one lead. Mullins and Nunez. 1-2 pitch. Caleb swings, hits a rocket. Deep left field, and that one is gone. Into the picnic area. Second three-run homer of the inning for the Tides, and it's now a 7-1 lead. Drew Dosh with a three-run blast, and now Caleb Joseph. Goes yard with a three-run homer, his first here in a Tides uniform, and it's a six-run fifth inning. He's given up just three earned runs. But he's got runners on at first and third here. The pitch to Carter and a ground ball sharply hit past Dosh at third base, down the left field line, leaking into the corner where Yastrzemski picks it up, fires it back towards third. But not before Zach Granite scores. Jake Cave makes it all the way to third. And Chris Carter eases into second with an RBI double to make it a 7-2 to ball game. Donnie Hart warming the bullpen just in case. A couple of left-handers are coming up after this bat, but probably won't be needed. High pop-up, shallow center field. Mullins is under it. He's got it. For the final out, a 1-2-3 ninth for John Mourinhoz. And the Tides end their losing streak, and they end Rochester's winning streak with a 7-3 decision here tonight.